to this lawnmower. We told you last month someone stole this lawnmower from a local high school, but that's not all they found. F ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee tonight showing us what else they recovered and how to protect your things. The grass is a little shorter on the Alonzo High School baseball field. The very next day we're cutting. We went ahead and did a tune up, gave it an old change and got it ready to go. The school's $10,000 lawnmower returned safely after someone broke through locks and stole it a few weeks ago. The baseball coach, Londi Fiedo, says it was bought with money students and parents worked hard to raise. I was on the internet. I just kept Googling and doing searches on sites where people sell mowers myself to see if I could find it. So were Hillsborough County deputies and just days later responding to this home about an unrelated case, they found the mower strapped to a trailer in the driveway. Usually when we can find one item, we can find more. And that's exactly what happened in this case. Several ATVs reported stolen May 7th were found in the backyard along with a few motorbikes, tires and rims. So far, it seems no one has been arrested. Crystal Nunez with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says it can be hard to pinpoint who actually stole the items. We have to not only find them, but we have to prove that whoever we find in possession of them, that they actually stole them. She says if you see items being sold online that seem too good to be true, report them so deputies can look into it. Plus, write down the VIN or serial numbers to big ticket items so that you can prove you're the owner if they're stolen. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.